Then you want to take your three fingers and you want to place it over the back of your baby chick. You want to place the pinky up under the chin just like you see here. Then you want to take your thumb, place it under the baby chick's belly, pick it up just like that. Okay, now as you can see, the baby chick is comfortable, he's not hurt. What we're going to do is, we're not going to hold this chick upside down completely like this, not good on them. What we're going to do is, we're going to hold the vent or the anus of the chicken in between our thumb and our forefinger, just like you see here. You want to make sure that with your pinky, you're not squeezing or choking out the baby chick. Just be real gentle. The only pressure that you want to use is your index finger needs to go on the tail feathers and rake over the vent just like you see me doing here and you're not going to push in you're only going to be lifting up once you do that cap off the tail feathers take your thumb and push slightly in and pull down now we're going to go ahead since i'm doing this one-handed and we're going to give you guys the best close-up we can the first picture we're going to show you is a picture of a male baby chicken vent um, I'll go ahead and close up here as you can see. Now after stretching the vent open, the first thing you're going to see is the male chick has a Y shape. And after that you will see a pimple protrude. I don't like to call it a pimple, but it's basically just a little bubble. You can see that right here. So the little guy that we have now is in question is a male. So we're going to go ahead and band his leg. I'm going to show you a high definition picture or ultra definition picture of a female baby chick now. And show you what her vent looks like. Now here is a picture of a baby female chicken vent and as you can see it is shaped like an eye and with the female chicken inside just at the top you will see another opening just like the main vent here which is the baby chick cloaca. So this baby chick in question is a female. Now I'll go ahead and show you a comparison pic of them side by side. Now here you have the male and female vent sexing pictures side by side. It should be really easy to tell apart. The female will not have the pimple protrusion. She will actually have another small opening, a 